What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I want to talk about the recently revealed scary finish WWE could potentially have planned for the 2021 Royal Rumble. Now if you don't know this story, it's been circling around the wrestling world. Firstly reported by the very reliable WrestleVotes on Twitter that WWE could be going with a very scary finish. This is the year that they could really disappoint us. It genuinely is. There's no live audience. You're not going to get any, you know, uh, bad uh, explicit chanting if anything happens. You've got the Thunderdome. You can literally just add cheers. Uh, if this is the, this is literally the year out of any year that previously and probably years to come, this is the one where WWE can really do something bad and get away with it. So today I'm going to be talking about three potential endings that I think could happen at the Royal Rumble. Let's get right in to number three. Okay, everyone, so my third uh, least favourite option, I guess you could say, the one that still sucks, but I think would be the least impactful if it happened. You know, we can see it coming. We would be, you know, annoyed about it for about a week, but we would get on with it. And that is that Brock Lesnar returns in the Royal Rumble match and wins the whole thing, making him a two-time Royal Rumble winner, making him uh, add to that short list of two-time winners. Now, the reason I think this could happen is obviously the current champions are Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns. There's stories to be built there for both men. Reigns was the one that beat Lesnar at SummerSlam 2018, and then when he went away, uh, we never got that one-on-one -on -one rematch for Brock Lesnar. He took on Strowman instead. Also, Paul Heyman. We all know that Paul Heyman is currently the advocate for the Tribal Chief. Roman Reigns is also the advocate for Brock Lesnar. You can tell that story sort of picking sides. Other than that, Drew McIntyre, last year's Royal Rumble winner, beat Lesnar at WrestleMania to become the WWE Champion. Lesnar wants his payback. Why not? So my third least favourite option, the one that I think could be the scary finish, is the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar appears for the first time since WrestleMania 36, wins the Royal Rumble and challenges either Roman Reigns or Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania. Let's move on to number two. Okay, so my number two. We have got Goldberg versus Drew McIntyre for the WWE Championship earlier on in the night. Now, what's going to happen is Drew's actually going to claim all Goldberg's head off, uh, hopefully kick it into the Thunderdome and retain the WWE Championship. But then what's going to happen is Goldberg will enter the Royal Rumble and win and then face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 37 for the Universal Championship. It was meant to happen last year. Goldberg was champ, meant to take on Reigns due to the pandemic. Uh, Reigns had to go away uh, for his own safety, meaning that match got cancelled, re uh, changed into Lesnar versus Strowman. Lesnar versus Strowman? Changed into Goldberg versus Strowman. So we've never actually had that one-on-one -on -one Reigns versus Goldberg match. It is something I'd like to see, but Goldberg does not need to win the Royal Rumble for it at all. Oh, he can come back and say, I want to fight you for the Universal Championship. Exactly the same as what Roman Reigns did last year. Goldberg said, I need an opponent for WrestleMania. Who's it going to be? Reigns comes out and said, I'm next. So literally, you don't need to do this at all. The story's still there. Keep Goldberg away from the main event. But without further ado, guys, let's get into my number one worst possible ending for the 2021 Royal Rumble. Okay, people, if this happens, I think my anger will be overtaken with laughter. It will be that bad. It's very similar to the story I just told. Goldberg enters the Royal Rumble and wins and faces Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Exactly the same as before. It's just I change one thing. Goldberg beats Drew McIntyre to become the WWE Champion, wins the Royal Rumble and faces Reigns at WrestleMania in a title unification match. The WWE Championship, the Universal Championship, winner takes all. Both championships combined, Reigns versus Goldberg. I cannot reiterate enough how much I do not want to see this match under them circumstances. 
Now, I don't think that Goldberg is going to win the championship from Drew. That's a little spoiler for my predictions on Saturday. I don't think it's going to happen. It is possible, but when you think of the story, there's none to tell. If Goldberg beats Drew McIntyre, who on earth faces Goldberg at WrestleMania? Who? Edge? Sheamus? A rematch with Drew? There's no one on Raw that I think has the current story to face Goldberg. The story between Drew and Goldberg doesn't even make any sense. So why not Reigns and Goldberg? That is what they're going to go for. But at the same time, if they think, right, well, we've just put the belt on Goldberg now. What do we do? Oh, yeah, let's have him win the Rumble and face Reigns. So that is the worst possible thing. I don't want Lesnar to win. I don't want Goldberg to win. Anyone else... Really, as long as your name isn't Roman Reigns or Drew McIntyre, I don't really care if you win the Rumble. I've seen people say that Drew could lose and come back and win the Rumble again. I don't think that's going to happen. Even if it did, I think it would be pretty cool. You know, I'd be a bit annoyed because you could have given it to someone else, but that would be cool. We haven't had a back-to-back -back Rumble winner in ages. So Lesnar winning would be annoying. Goldberg winning, pff, terrible. Goldberg winning the championship... And then winning the Rumble is absolutely abysmal. Please do not make it happen. Please. It will be laughable how bad it will be. And it's really not a way to please your fans. I don't like Goldberg anyway. I haven't liked Goldberg since he beat The Fiend. And uh, it just really shows if Goldberg wins the Rumble. Do you know what? For, my, for future, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. You know, just, just in case I ever meet the man, I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think is the worst possible thing, uh, the worst possible finish WWE can have for the Men's Royal Rumble match? I've been Joe from Joe Talks Rice, and you've been awesome. Tell me in the comment section down below. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Burn it!